Hello besties and welcome back. Welcome if you guys are new. It is your girl Jazzy J here on this mic and this is Earth Vibes Tarot, your favorite Capricorn only channel, but you're all very welcome here to the messages. Sit back, relax, take a chance, my love, smash your like buttons, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure that y'all are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. This is your weekly love reading Capricorn, September 9th into the 13th. Let's see what you need to know or be aware of here for Capricorn. September 9th into the 13th. Look at this. Judgment 20. New beginnings. Oof. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, forgiving, and compassionate review of the past. I love this. You know, I honestly feel like a whole new world. Mm. This wondrous place I never knew. Right? This is some really nice shit. Bottom of the deck is the wheel. And we're looking at this as the energy of shifting and changing into new purpose, into new relationships. This judgment energy, Archangel Jer Jeremel, starting a new life, literally allowing yourself to be led to this new beginning. This is a very harmonious situation. It's an energy that brings balance. It's an energy that's bringing light um, and love into, into a partnership, basically. It's like opposites attract. I love this. Show us what we need to see here, please, Spirit. Full Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for... September 9th until the 13th. September 9th until the 13th. Look at that. Social media, spying, online dating, reminiscing, networking. Yeah. I definitely feel like you could be connecting to somebody that you know, maybe via online. You may even be um, connecting to somebody, networking with an individual. Maybe it's like a friend of a friend, something like that. Um, I definitely feel like with the celebration event, public social gathering, there may be something special here that comes in. I feel like this is a very special energy, a very special change, a special moment even. And it really like, it just, it's like enjoying something together. Maybe the two of you are into the same things. I don't know. It just feels like there is this, I don't know. Let's get one more. Bottom of the deck is change regeneration growth metamorphosis cycles yeah this is definitely a new cycle here in your life give us one more here with social media and party with new beginnings judgment energy y'all yeah. faded meeting thank you spirit this is yeah it's like a friend of a friend or somebody that you met you know through an online um platform something like that i feel like this is destiny meant to be i feel like you guys are coming into some sort of encounter or maybe you guys are just really enjoying each other's energy y'all yeah. i like that I like that. And changes again, still at the bottom of the deck with storm warning and magnetic attraction. Yeah, something's about to pop the fuck off. Let me pop out. Lead the club, sloppy drunk, come home and get my rocks off. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay, you guys, let's take a look at. Let me just grab this deck that we're going to use. Where is it? Ah, oh, I've got my freaking computer plugged in and I don't got to be careful here so it doesn't fall. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the individual ener energies here in this connection between person A, person B, Capricorn. Um, I just did finish the Capricorn versus All Signs series for late August. Uh, so make sure you guys check out the playlist. I will be starting the Capricorn versus All Signs series early this month for September so I can stay on top of everything. Now that I am done orientation for my new job, now that I'm just kind of like, you know, getting into the flow, like my, my new flow basically, um, things are going to be different. Things are going to be good. Things are going to just be rolling in on this channel. Make sure you guys check out the community tab, um, especially tomorrow, because I'm going to be posting a special sale for 24 hour turnaround reading. So we have reveal. I want to tell you the truth. Wow. There's somebody that literally is like, bruh, this is how I feel about you. Like I really feel, you know, very deeply about you. I see two butterflies out the window. Yeah. I feel like you guys are like two peas in a pod. I feel like the two of you are going to like really mesh well together. Um, 
I don't know. This energy feels nice. You guys are on the same page as it relates to, to situations here. And when I mean the same page, it's like there's something very spiritual or religious or energetic that the two of you share with one another. Show us person B here. Yeah, reunion. We will always come back to one another. And I feel like person B may even be the more spiritual individual. Person B is coming off more as like, I feel like our spirits, our souls are like kindred and we are really reconnecting with one another. This feels really good. I like this energy. Let's go ahead um, and take a look at thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards one another. If you guys are vibing here with this reading, make sure you guys smash that like button and I want you guys to leave the duck emoji down in the comment section below. Ducky, 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 ducky. Leave that ducky in the comment section, guys, if you guys are vibing here. Let's go ahead and see. I wanna use an appropriate deck. Every day, every day. Where is, okay. <clears throat> We're gonna use this one to clarify, but I wanna get, All right, angel spirits and guides, show us what we need to see here, please. For person A, for Capricorn and love, September 9th until the 13th. Somebody's birthday could be in January. Show us what we need to see here, please. Like January versus December, Capricorn. Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups, Three of Cups, Five of Swords, The Hierophant and the Knight of Swords. All right, so this is a very interesting energy here, you guys, and we're gonna go through it. So thoughts, feelings, intentions. The thoughts are very intense with the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords. Okay, so person A coming out with this um, Nine of Swords energy, this is very, there's a lot that's on this person's mind, right? And there's a lot that this person is having to really spiritually handle, spiritually deal with and go through. Um, I, I feel like this is about communication. Um, I feel like this person has been holding a lot inside um, and it may be eating them up because I feel like the feelings are pretty intense here. Um, with the Five of Swords coming out here for person B, this is also very intense it almost feels like there is you know something eating up um <laughs> person b um on the inside and th there's also this feeling of ideology um and ideals kind of being shifted and changed and i honestly feel like person b is having to really rethink how they're processing what they want out of a relationship and maybe like the significant details and with the hierophant and the five of swords i'm going to be quite honest this has a lot to do with how somebody was was raised or what they experienced during childhood what they experienced with their parents um this may also be what they they do or do not want to experience in a relationship and whether this is with um, external children or whether this is with a certain um, spiritual religious 
there is a turn of mind that's coming in here with person B basically and they're realizing that thoughts and energies are going to have to be shifted in order for this true reunion to occur that's why I say I feel like person B is a little bit more spiritual and the motion in which their energy is shifting is very mental emotional spiritual whereas person A it feels like with the eight of cups kind of being in conjunction and that feelings aspect there is There is this notion of alignment, basically, right? And aligning with true purpose and having to move away from, leave behind um, certain processes. And I feel like there's a lot of um, truth or baggage that may come with this person as well. Um, and it may be a little, a little bit emotionally hard for them to deal with, especially as it relates to sharing or expressing um, what is beneath the surface um, and this person is realizing that they're going to have to share and expose these energies and these feelings in order for this relationship to truly be developed and evolved to something great whereas person b this feels very spiritual in nature um, or thought process bound how one thinks how one moves with the knight of swords and the three of cups there's this energy in the intentions of not only communicating and taking action but also you know the sense of celebration the sense of happiness the sense of giving love um and expressing how one feels and i honestly feel like this has a lot to do with person a wanting to express themselves in a very like creative and kind of like mind body soul type of a way um towards person b whereas person b is wanting to really be expressive in a communicative type of a way um really speak their mind and really push through any of those barriers and no longer hold back um what they've been processing right wow bottom of the deck is the page of cups the six of swords and the king of cups yeah i definitely feel like there is an expansive moment that's going to be coming here and this is having a lot to do with love and offering of love and you know the energy of kind of sailing off into some sort of new beginning there's definitely some attraction here and with the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck the wheel i mean and the leap of freaking the fool look at this and the sun this is it beautiful 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 let's do a little bit of clarifying here just slightly tell us about this three of cups here for person a tell us about this three of cups okay so we've got the Knight of Cups. Like I said, there is an offering of love that comes in. This person definitely has some sort of offering. And I feel like, yeah, with the Page of Cups and Strength. They're coming forward. Like, they're, they're definitely being very bold about the situation. I love this. I love the boldness. I love how emotional, emotionally forward they're being. nine of cups energy this is definitely going to bring the both of you a sense of wish fulfillment and happiness i feel like more than what you guys may have experienced show us the potential challenges here this week and love not being open not speaking your truth yeah the ace of swords the five of cups death yeah you really have to just like let go of the past and and how things have happened before in your life 
in order for things to really move forward into this new direction. I definitely feel like the challenge is going to just be being open to an individual, being honest, um, and just telling the truth and just, just really speaking on it. I mean, I feel like there is nothing more to the situation than just to be yourself and to be open, like a very open individual. bottom of the deck is temperance this is definitely going to be you know a give and take situation it's about you know learning um to grow with each other learning to be open um things aren't going to you know happen overnight but it's it's, it's about learning that a very high vibrational situation such as what is coming in takes some work okay let's take a look shit <laughs> hold on <laughs> oh goodness gracious all right let's take a look at the potential outcome here potential outcome here four swords nine of pentacles eight of swords i honestly feel like there is a potential outcome from for freedom um, and for feeling at peace and at ease, um, the nine of pentacles and the four of swords is a very peaceful energy. Um, and in this case, it's very relaxing, you know, very Zen, just very chill. And the nine of pentacles is an independent energy, but I feel like there is this freedom that comes in with this connection. I feel like there is a abundance of free love, free energy that you've been waiting for. And if you allow it, the truth and honesty is going to set you free. This is going to be a connection where communication is key. Bottom of the deck, eight of wands, page of cups, six of swords. Yeah, this is a very freeing um, relationship emotionally. And I love this for you guys. So I'm going to leave this here. I hope y'all found this insightful and that it resonated. If it did or if it does, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure y'all are subscribed and I'll speak to you in the next reading.